With Path finally being gone from the format, I think it's time we take a look at the ability of Glamora EX. With the Dust Field ability. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent can't have more than three bench Pokemon to play. Basically, it just makes their bench three, all right? And a lot of decks rely on a full bench to really start popping off. So we're going to stop a lot of decks from doing what it wants. Now, one issue with the Glamora is its damage output. 140 plus poison, so 150 effectively for two isn't good. But with Radiant Sneasler, Grant, and the new Perilous Jungle, you can actually hit 220, which is a very very big upgrade for sure. Now we could go max spell to take it further, but I think we would like Hero's Cape to keep that Glamora around for a couple more turns to make up for the fact that it has an awkward two energy attack cost. We need more turns to attach, but EXP share does help out with that as well. And to be a little bit cheeky, I've thrown in the baby Glamora with the Shattering Crystal where if it gets knocked out, if you flip heads, they don't even take a prize card and it does six poison damage counts per turn. Meaning with all the other poison buffs, you're doing 100 damage each way. So that's also very good. So there's a lot riding for this Glamora. So uh, let, let's see how it actually plays. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your decks using code FDW for 5% off and what's not. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. My opponent's opted me to go first, which doesn't actually narrow down much, does it? Um, but either way, let's see. My guess is we're playing Chen Pao, but why would Chen Pao want to go second. That doesn't make any sense. I was just kind of hoping we go second so we can get Ascension off. Also, no attachment here. This is a bad opening hand. Too many support cards, man. Why do you want to go second with the Charmander? I, I, I don't know. Right, let's get ourselves a Bidoof then and just throw that bad boy down. And maybe if we get an energy next turn, maybe I can actually instead go for the baby Glamora. That would be quite nice. Also, Buddy Poffin straight off the bat, meaning they're only going to have one more bench spot if I evolve into the big E. That plus the judge could be quite devastating. Give way. Oh, the, okay. So this is, oh, of course, I'm gonna go, it's TM Evo build. Of course, they want to go second. Now it makes sense. Let's see what they do here. Also, what the hell is that mulligan? Are you kidding me, bro? I just realized I got nine bloody. How many mulligans did I hit, my guy? I don't even play that low of a basic count. What the hell? They didn't draw. I didn't know they are. What the? Wait, what? So they've played an Arvin and they've played a Poffin. Oh, no, but they Arvin and four cut. Okay, maybe I didn't hit any mulligans and I'm just stupid. Maybe that's the case. They go for a heavy ball and they get a Jirachi which doesn't matter in the slightest. But, oh my god, is it even a TM Evo? Oof, that's the Yikers. All right, let's throw this down. And I think I'm going to charge. Unless I... I could ascension into the baby Glamit, you know, uh, Glamora. Because I might be able to get some cheeky KOs with it whilst they, you know, fail to do it. But then Judge seems just too strong off of this. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm going to Glamit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Glamora EX. And I get rid of a Charmander. And I'm just going to judge from here uh, in the hope that they don't get anything. And then I could just buy a turn that way. That's the idea. Well, well there's, there's, my, uh, there's my energy. Let's see. Let's see if they go any... That is so funny to look at. Look at this. It's like we're playing on mobile. <laughs> Four cards in hand, three on the bench. <laughs> it is a funny look. There's that's the annoying thing. Arch was gonna get and be barrel. Oh no, they they can't have Charizard. Like, bro, why does Charizard always have it? Like, I, I don't understand. You could disrupt it and it will always have it. I feel like there is coded bias. No, no, no. There is printed bias in this game. I'll tell you. You go to a tour. I oh no! What? Oh yeah, just dodge him into the perfect hands. Sure thing, mate. Sure thing. They even get charm. This is filthy. Oh my god. And the ultra ball to get bit barrel. Bro, do you wanna just do you wanna just take me? Do I, I have a have everything. At this rate, I might as well just give them my soul. Uh, uh, what? Did this dude make the deal with the devil or something? What the hell was this? From judge to everything? Oh, jeez. It's just horrible to even look at. God, I can't even bear my eyes. You better give me something here. All right, you fraud. So we do go into Charizard quite badly, which is why we got the TM Devo. But I think I need to prioritize drawing here right now because my God, I've never seen a, a Charizard do that off a judge. Abysmal stuff. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm annoyed. I am annoyed. Terrible stuff. Okay, uh, yeah, just give me the trash, why don't you? Actually, honestly, it's not terrible. It's not that bad. It's just really bad. I think Turo is going to be kind of useless here. Let, let's just go full send on the damage, man. Let's go full send on it. I'm going to get myself a... Oh, we've prized our baby boy as well. God, everything goes great for, uh, for them, but not for me, of course. It's typical. This is my first game, by the way. The first game I've looked for, so I'm not even messing about here. It's just, it's just terrible luck. Right, well, let's go for the Poisonous Gem, which will 
at least do some damage. Funnily enough, the jungle doesn't even work. Just give Zard everything. Fine, the jungle doesn't work. Just just let him have every possible outcome. Ah, oh, it's infuriating. At least we are to it KOing it, which is actually a change. So I'll take that. Here's to hoping that the ability does actually have some sort of effect. But yeah, man, this is just so rough. There's a vacuum they're gonna get rid. Are you kidding me? You can't be joking me. Everything? Everything? Nah, I'm done. I'm gonna put this first, but no way. That is just filth luck. <laughs> it's uh, terrible. Oh, you dare give me another Charizard. God's sake, can all of you stop being boring and playing Charizard all the time? Jeez, take that to your locals, not to the ladder. Nah, I'm all serious, I'm only playing. Uh, you just, you just, you just, you're just a fraud. That's what it is. You're just a fraud. Right, let's get a glimmit down here. And I think I hold the hand to be fair to you, because I can get, get, uh, I could airy next turn, actually, if I want to be funky. But I need energy. Uh, uh, funny enough, when actually playing this deck and testing it, I haven't had any issues getting energy. So kind of annoying when recording that it happens. But you know what? It is what it is. There's an S ball. Getting a Charmander down. And it gets a Rotom. That's a target for us. We can hit that for weakness. So that's nice. Getting energy on the Charmander. And the instant charge. Right. So we could go for the baby glimmer and actually get a KO. We just need some some luck. <laughs> all right. I, 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 maybe because I say glimmer all the time, they keep thinking, that, I, I, I've had enough. Okay. Stop giving me the glimmer. Get in on me now. Do I get rid? I'm going to get rid of YouTube, actually. Yeah. Screw that. We do have the baby glimmer. Just need some luck. Do I evolve? I think I evolve like this because I could Ascension as well. I'm gonna go for an incisors here. Uh, oh, oh, okay. All right, okay, fine. That's luck on my side this time. All right. Nice. All right. And then we airy, do we hit? We do. Okay, let's see the hand. They have. Oh, we're just gonna get fully rid of it. Yeah, just, just no Zard, nothing. Ah, oh, 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 I love when it airy hits. And we get rid of the Pidgey as well. This is what I'm talking about. Fine. You have your beautiful turn, Zard. But now it's my time. It's my time to shine. There's an EXP share down. That's quite nice. They bring up the Charmander with nothing for them. Did see the boss though, so they could try and boss trap me. That's probably what they're going to want to do. There's Charmeleon. Pidgeot down. Oh, sorry, Pidgey down. What's funny is this doesn't get poisoned. So I actually can't get it, go for this Char. Why did they just make Char? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to stop asking questions and just go. They decided for once that they wanted it to be good. But Pokemon, uh, TPC, not TPCI. You do have a knack of making things a bit too good. Like, you understand how balancing works, right? Clearly not. They've been breaking the game and format for years. <laughs> I think they just decide, hmm, so we for Scarlet and Violet, what deck do we want to be the best ever? Okay, let's do Charizard. And then they'll do the next game and they'll be like, okay, what's going to be best next? I know, we'll do Weezing. We'll make a broken Weezing deck. <laughs> Honestly, I don't get I don't get the thought process of sometimes of these when these cards are printed, but hey ho. Incise is coming in. And we are just gonna be chilling, I think. A uh, bit of a shame that I can't just get the KO here, but it is what it is. Alright, this off in here. Do I wanna do anything? I have the switch, but that actually kinda does nothing. Oh, the cape though. Hello. Uh the switch will get me out if they try and stick me up or something like that, I guess. But being able to withstand a hit here. I think I was withstanding a hit anyway, so maybe I have used this at the wrong time. Yeah, do you know what? It is what it is. I'm just going to pass here, but I do like the idea of bossing up this Rotom a little bit. And we have TM Devo still around, don't we? I mean, it's not going to be too effective on the Charmeleon, but it is what it is. I like the Eri with the Devo, though, like, because if you Eri and hit a rare candy or two, then it makes the TM Devo even stronger because, well, you've just forced them to use more rare candy anyway. It is quite nice. But either way, there is a Pidgeot out, so they can definitely get Charizard now. Do I boss up? I mean, if the Charizard hits me, which they will, then it's guaranteed that I'm going to be too excited anyway, regardless if they get rid of the cape. So I think I do just boss up the Rotom um, and then see where I can go from there. I could reuse the Glimora as well, the baby Glimora, to try and just like min-max it a little bit, you know, get some good coin flips going my way. I could definitely do that. There's an S-Ball and a Choice Belt, which isn't needed, but of course it's fodder. And there's that Charizard now. I think, wait, didn't in, didn't in the video before, I swear it was just constant. Haven't I played technically in video, right? In the video lore, I've played five Charizard decks in a row. I think I need to leave Arceus because it's kind of boring. Yeah, it's interesting. Right, well, there is that burning darkness. And I kinda, I'm kind of vibing with the, the boss KO right now. I can't lie. Yeah, I'm kind of vibing with it. Wish I could boss KO this, but that's not going to happen. I also could just boss KO with the poison petals on the Charmander. But nah, let's just get the roads on. Let's have some fun with it, eh? Incisors here. And okay. let's Okay, oh, I, I, I think I've seen enough of that. I need some squivets action, you know? If wait, let's go for the poisonous gem. Take that KO there. And now Charizard is basically one KOing us. So now we kind of lose. <laughs> Let's be real, bro. Let's be real. Unless I can swandle some sort of victory out of this, you know? Try to pull something off. To be fair, the prize Glamora could do a lot for us. So I need to get my poison boys out though, so I can really do some good damage on the Zard with the with the baby Glamora.
Glamora. And maybe that's what I try and do because I think they're going to go for two, two prizes here. I think they're going to go for a Glamora and then boss Glamora EX, which will keep the baby Glamora around as long as possible and allow me to recycle it as long as possible too. And I'm going to put the choice belt down. I don't think it actually matters. Sorry, max belt. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Either way, there's a burning darkness. 320 with three prizes left is just sick. <laughs> it's disgusting. Either way, let's bring up Glamora here and start trying to get some poison action off now. That's what we want to see. So I'm going to ultra ball here, get rid of a Poffin and a switch. I think I'm, that's the only switch I've got. So I'm going to get rid of one Iono. Get that Sneasler down. Now, annoyingly enough, the, um, the, the again, as, as I said before, the, the stadium just doesn't want to hurt Charizard. It says, a dark Pokemon can't get it. I know dark Pokemon are technically poison, but they they put the dark Pokemon on the stadium to prevent them from getting extra poison. They knew, because they knew, they knew. Zard needs everything going in its favor, because otherwise, how could people play the game? People won't play Pokemon TCG if Charizard's not available to play. Funny enough, it actually does, like, apply. <laughs> Weirdly enough, like, uh, the amount of people I see that were actually, like, when I when they talk to me about TCG, they go, is there a good Charizard deck? <laughs> I get it. I get it, bro. I can't even hate. Right, there's, uh, there's an Incisors, and there's Devo. That can come in absolutely clutch sooner rather than later. Poison Petals, especially after Poison Stick. If the Poison Stick, if they decide to stick around here, then the Devo will actually KO Charmeleon too. Plus, Judge, we, we, we have comeback potential here. All right. Well, what if I... Uh, they're going to boss my Glamora, right? So what if I just boss the Charmander? You know what I mean? Or boss the Charmander if it becomes a, a Charizard, because then they're obviously going to go for TM here. Sorry, they're going to go for... Rare. Oh, they're not. Okay, I thought I was going to get rare, rare Candy Evolution. Also, they didn't... Oh, they have counter catcher, don't they? So they're going to count. Yeah, they count the catch. They count the catch. Yeah. Ah, they get the Radzard down. That's going to be a bit of a nuisance. But if they. Yeah, I could just bring up the Charmander, KO it. And then afterwards, TM Devolution. There's that option. What if I just Judge Devo? Judge Devo sounds all right, doesn't it? Does Judge Devo now sound good? Kind of feel like they'll just run away with it if I don't do that. So I think I do Judge, judge Devolution here. Yeah, I feel like it's just going to be too too much now. So let's just go for the Judge. I'd have liked this being Iono, but it is what it is. Maybe I could have dug for Iono, but. Nah. All right, I'm going to go for an attachment there. kind of want to find a rod. So this Glamora goes down, especially if they don't take the extra prizes for it. I can do some stuff. kind of also like the barrel. So, all right, let's let's the evolution here. And here's the hoping they haven't got a rare candy. But knowing Charizard, they will. It's also one prize card for us too. So that's nice. There's the Zard, which of course they can just attach KO with. But I do have the Glamora here with the uh, with the Arvin. I can actually just roll in Glamora right now. And that could be good. Oh, don't get rid of my Ultra Ball. You're going to get rid of my Ultra Ball, aren't you? Yeah, of course you do. Um, um, okay. I think I still Arvin for Rod with the, uh, this, when this Glamora goes down. Let's see if we get heads, though. Let's see if we get heads. Go on, you know you want to. Oh, of course you don't. Of course you don't. So is it actually then worth me going for Iono and then just trying to get my Glamora, Glamora EX instead? Because if I get Glamora EX, then I could just sweep them, right? If they, Especially Iono to 1 plus Glamora. I mean, that's that's probably my best bet. I think maybe you have to kind of try it. We've prized one, so we have one in deck. What's my Ultra Ball count? Ultra Ball count's low. I mean, the odds of me actually hitting Glamora are low, but I think we, I think it's actually our best bet here. That's kind of what I'm looking for. The Iono stick, there's an energy. That's kind of what we need. We do have counter catch too, but I don't want the counter catch. So to increase odds one more, I'm going to go for a nest dash. Just need to, oh, 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 we hit it. Okay. Uh, I think we are now the best position to win the game here. There's just no way. I swear to God, if they get it, bro, I'm going to be fuming. Let me see here. Is there anything they could do today? They could go for a boss, but I have the switch. The, the stadium doesn't help in any sort of way. I think I think, I think this is our best chance of winning here. And again, thanks to the damage buff of the Sneezer, uh, well, or the Perilous Jungle, or both, we managed to get the KO there where we otherwise wouldn't have. So that's quite nice. Let's see with two cards, can they actually respond? If not, we have finessed a win against Charizard, which... It's just, it just sounds impossible with a Glamora, really. There's a mist energy and a stone. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I was like, I swear to God. Nope, we managed to get the dub there. And that is very beautiful. Second game of the video, by the way. So that's the first start where they got insane luck. And then my turn. I think the universe evened itself out there. And there's the final Glamora. GG. Not sure we're playing against yet. Would you be surprised if it was a Zard? I bloody wouldn't be. Let's go. Buddy Poffin. This is a nice opener, all things considered. That's actually not too bad, is it? I mean, the energy does suck again. Uh, constantly just not finding energy for some reason in the early turns. But we'll make we'll make do, man. Nothing beats a turn two Glamora EX attacking, but apparently it doesn't want to happen today. It's an Arceus. Oh, we should sweep this. No. I mean, obviously, there's the uh, the Giratina and all that, but the weakness, I mean, we should be okay. Also, if they don't retreat here, then again, the baby Glamora can just come in clutch. I love the baby Glamora for just being able to take out, like, basic evolving Pokemon when they just don't see it coming. That's what I really like. There's an energy on the Arvin. Uh, uh, I'd say Arvin. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just saw Arceus and Invino and Arv. <laughs> the Arvary of saying they don't find any Pedagrash energy on the Arvary's there. And that was me going straight back to Waffle Town. They pass. And it's a vacuum. A lot of like one-offs that I don't want to see this early on, you know? I think I'm going to go for it, you know. I think I'm going to I think, I think I'm gonna try. Take it up, but it's going to be quite nice. It's going to be quite nice. I just need the energy, you know? Go on, you can give me energy. Mm, bro, what the hell is this? What the hell did you just give me? Excuse me. All right, at least look. At least if they take a KO, then they're not getting an extra prize card if I get heads. All right, that's a capturing aroma. And of course, they get heads. They don't what they want. I don't care. I want that anymore because I'm sick of it. There's Arcus V Star. And this, this is the problem with Raihan being gone. This is where I would be like, okay, let's see if I can get a Raihan and, you know, get some energy and discard power and stuff like that. But unfortunately, no, we're going to have to give them a turn as well. So not only going to take a KO, they're going to get another turn. So hopefully, we do, as I said, hit that heads. Because like, oh, of course, it's a bloody lost city. <laughs> God, every deck just has something for me, huh? Every deck. But let's not get our hope down. A two in a row. Let's not get our hopes down anytime soon. They could still get the heads where they don't take a prize card. And we are still hitting weakness. Uh, granted, there is grass. So there is the fact that they can come and respond with a iron leaves. That could also be an absolute pain. And this is the punishment of having no energy early on, which this deck plays 10 and also an earthen vessel. So I, I have geared it to try and get energy as much as possible without disrupting the deck but yeah it just doesn't want to happen i don't know why well i do know why rng that's it <laughs> there's another way to put it so the strat here then is go for a boss play i mean um i don't know odds are they're gonna get an out here to prevent that i mean if they put barrel no they're not involved into the barrel they go for the ko can i at least hit a head like can i have at least that go my way this turn and i get the energy on the arceus come on come on do me a head do me a solid man oh you bloody donut of course you give me a tails do you wanna do, 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 do. i'm not gonna say anything else because i will start using expletives i will start raging and i do not want to rage um right then uh i'm gonna evolve and i guarantee you they're gonna have an out to the iron leaves there's the energy what so, actually, I don't evolve. What I do instead is I get rid of the... Get rid of the boss. Get two energy here. Attach to the bench. Arvin. Get an Ultra Ball. And I think Devolution's probably the play. Yeah, just get the Devolution. Ultra Ball, that. And the energy. I also, also want to get rid of Lost City. Because that's going to be a pain if this limit goes down. And then just go like that. And do I evolve? I mean, if they go for Iron Leaves, then... Which they probably will. Then I think evolving is kind of stupid. So, I think I just Nest Dash. And then just keep keep going. All right, nest ball. Let me get another. <laughs> of course, uh, this one needs to get rid of that um, stadium because if I price the limit, which I think I have, then that's just devastating. Okay, so I think we just hold an end turn here and hope we can kind of claw back with weakness plus disruption, but they get the barrel out this turn, which they probably have got, then the judge becomes so much less effective. There it is. That said, there's the leaves. I literally as expected. Like, bro, <laughs> it's so predictable. All right, they come up with the leaves. Now, the good thing here is if I find a grant, I could actually one it KO the iron leaves here, but that's like crazy talk. We could hit it though. We could get Grant. And they also do have to retreat this leaves as well next turn. So if I don't get Grant, then maybe... Oh, okay. They're just going to boss up. Yep. This, this, this is the problem with the, with the energy attachments. Of course, they have a bloody boss. To be fair, Arceus plays free. Yeah, you can't even be mad at it. Yeah, this is just... We're one way trip to lose town right now. Especially with the, the baby Glamour getting lost city as well. It's just the icing on the cake, isn't it? Do I really have to go for an iron defense? Like, is that really what I gotta do? Just to try and stay alive here? Sheepers. All right, everything going wrong part two. Let's go. So, we'll, we'll super odd here and we'll get, we'll get a Glamour line back and some energy. We'll go for this. I, I legitimately am gonna iron defense. This Arceus is gonna sweep me otherwise. I literally have no choice. Uh... I think Judge Iron Defense makes the most sense. And XP share, that's nice. Wonderful. Guarantee you I've judged them into a vacuum. See that coming a mile off. Speaking of the devil, there's my one. And a little bit of draw there. Literally nothing of use. Could evolve, but I just die. So <laughs> I'm just going to go for an Iron Defense here. Come on, I've hit Tails this whole video. Okay, there we go. All right, bit of survivability. They will boss. But hey, you never know. They might win. And if they do, we have the Grant. We do have the Grant. There's a Nest Ball, though. They get a Squibbit themselves. They're going to dig now, which is perfectly fine. Perfectly fair. Perfectly fair fair. And they attach to the Arcus on the bench now. Ah, switch. Of course. Of course. But you don't attack with the Iron Leaves again. You just don't do that. There's an incisor though. I swear if they attack with the Leaves again, that'd be, that'd be, that's gotta be a misplay if they do. I think they might be keen to. Oh no, but then again, it does nothing, right? So you don't. You just, obviously, you should Trinity Nova, but my opponent seems quite trigger happy with the leaves based on last turn. Oh no, but last turn they had the, the boss code, didn't they? So no, that was, that was the right call. I'm just kind of hoping my opponent's a bit like, oh, I leaves, I leaves out. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be the case. The vacuum. There it is, as I anticipated. However, we did hit the heads. So if I hit tails and vacuumed, I would have scooped out of pure rage. But no, we're fine. They did get rid of the stool with the stadium card though to uh, Oko the leaves, but uh, they are just gonna turn it in over. I'm gonna have to come up and take a KO 
and then get KO'd and then respond with a KO, which is going to be super hard here. Super difficult. But I think I actually have to grant here to get in a discard power so I can guarantee it next turn. They have to get rid of a card though, so it'd be interesting to see what they get rid of. Hopefully the ability does help. Uh, I think in this case you get rid of Squivet, right? Because you get rid of Arceus and I take a KO, then all you have is the leaves. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to hit the energy though, because uh, I need to get Grant a discard pile. You know what I mean? Because I, I could Iona right now, bring him to free, but it doesn't matter. It does draw me a lot of cards, but I've seen two energy this whole game. Oh my God. I'm getting an energy here. I'm getting an energy. If I don't, it's, it's it's written. It's scripted. I am I am I am born to lose. There we go. <laughs> All right. So funny enough, they actually didn't vacuum away the XP share. So the XP share could come in absolutely clutch here. In fact, I'm gonna go for a buddy puffin and get nothing because I forgot I've got nothing. Just take the KO. Let XP share come in, and then I just need to find a Glamora and a Stadium, and I can uncode the leaves. And then from there, we could uh, we could definitely do some stuff. Oh, there's a Stadium. Okay, that said, uh, this deck plays Judge, so and I know, so I, I, we might not hold this hand, but I think getting rid of the Arceus is definitely a misplay, man. All right, they do recover though, and you can see the absolute importance of this EXP share. It's like, I just lose if I don't have that EXP share. Because once they set the KO, I at least just need an energy now instead of trying to buy another turn or try something funky. Uh, there, there isn't any good uh, fighting acceleration in the format, actually, that I think about it. There's the Turbo. What's my Glamora count, though? Oh, we have Glamora. I mean, okay, I've just realized I've gone this whole game barely finding any resources apart from trainer cards. So <laughs> that's funny. There's the judge as expected. And do we get any pieces? We get the Ultra Ball. That's good. They're going to try grabbing me. That's actually quite cool. But no. Oh, is this Arceus, uh, Arian Grabber? That would make sense. Yeah, of course, it's just a great way to deal with Charizard, isn't it? But they do take the KO. And we do need a few pieces here. We do need a few things. But hey, I think I'm due some luck for this game, huh? Let's see if we get it. Glimit coming up. And it's a judge. Not really what you want to see. I think the Arthur and... Um, yeah, I think these two are kind of useless. Let's get Glimora. So we need energy and stadium. Oh, God. One stadium, free energy in a night. 19, so is that a 20? Yeah, 19 card deck. I'm not feeling confident. I can't lie. Let's go for an S dash here. I'm going to do that first um, before figuring out, <laughs> of course, <laughs> before figuring anything out. Come on. Oh, God. There's the energy, but not the stadium. We can't take the Oko. Oh, okay. What do I do? The Grant just doesn't get me there. I think that's a loss. I do really think that's a loss. Oh, wait. Can I do be cheeky here? Let's, let's try something cheeky. I don't know if this actually applies. No, because 180 is free. Oh, wait. Hold on. Double 180 is 360, isn't it? That's 360. I could survive? What? Okay. Mm, now I'm thinking a little bit. I could actually survive the leaves hit here. Oh, well, then they just, they just obviously they go for them. They just swing with Arceus. And then even after that, I, I still just get KO'd and lose. Yeah, the weakness is just the problem. There's the Arceus V star. So if you really think about it, it's the judge that killed us there, unfortunately, that lost us the game. If we do go on to lose, that said, they might not have energy. So, well, no, they have squid at the barrel. They should have an out here. They should should have something available. Maybe a couple more psychic because this is Tina, obviously. Yeah, there's the jet. I'll just bring him straight for it. But again, we are still technically being two at KO. So if I can boss KO that Oh, no, they're just going to go straight for the leaves. Yeah, that one in the game. I was about to say, because if they hit me with the Arceus there, I could survive another Arceus hit. But no, they got the double the double pivot there. And there you go. There's the Prism Edge. Oh, God, that eye leaves us putting such a shift. Goes to show if we hit that KO, then it would have been GG. But uh, unfortunately, no, let's just airy them because uh, I don't know. I'm BMing here, aren't I? Let's just take the KO. And we know they come up with one afterwards. So bit of a shame, unfortunately. Didn't really go our way there as well. But Arceus just had a response. It always does. But I can't even complain. So I had high hopes going into to uh, playing the Glamora EX, but I'll be honest, is the deck bad? Yes. Uh, not not because of the, the build or anything like that. I think even an optimal 60 is still just bad. You fall into the trenches. You get you get you get, go into the crossfire for all those grass Pokemon trying to hit that Zard because you're weak to grass too. So, you know, you just get caught in that web, unfortunately, just by the nature of your weakness. Uh, the damage output has been modified, and that's nice. You've got so much modification in this deck, which is really cool. And the ability can be disruptive, but let's be real. If you're playing against a good opponent, they're going to be smart enough to play with two less Pokemon on their bench. It's not actually that devastating, unless you're playing against something like Lost Box and stuff like that, where, it's, where it could be. And, you know, you do have disruption options here, but I just don't think it's it, unfortunately. I think it still is lacking the speed that it needs in order to keep up. It's just not good enough, unfortunately. And even on a rogue level, I didn't have that much fun playing it. So it's not really fun to play. It's not that good. I mean, if you like Glamora and you want to just play with it, then have fun. But other than that, I don't think I back this deck even on a rogue level. But that's just my honest take. Sorry, Glamora lovers. It's just not this time. But hey, maybe we can revisit the baby Glamora because that actually was doing the most work. And just go full send quad, quad baby Glamora. Try and get some heads to take some less prizes. 
But then you're relying solely on poison, which just means you auto lose to Roaring Moon and stuff. But hey, it doesn't mean we shouldn't check it out, you know? But either way, we're going to leave it there. Do you like it did enjoy, though? I think I think, I think that win against Cesar definitely deserves a like. Um, but yeah, take care of yourself most importantly, though. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.